Hey guys, and welcome to another Horde Attack walkthrough. Today, we're gonna show you a 30 by 120 internal light depth we built. We've got this thing decked out. We've got wet walls on there. We've got rigid polycarbonate end walls on the external and internal structure. We're gonna take you on inside and we're gonna show you how we outfitted this whole building. So starting off, this wet wall was enormous. So we've got a four foot, or actually this is a five foot. This is a five foot by 16 foot wet wall. And it's on a 30 foot wide greenhouse. So we were only able to squeeze in about a four foot wide sliding door. So we've got a sliding door taking us into the internal greenhouse. Inside this dead space is where we have our internal frame. We've got all of our ducting system drawing this cold air from the wet wall on the outside, pulling through to the inside of the greenhouse. On the inside of this greenhouse, we have our rigid twin wall polycarbonate blackout end walls. Now, both of these end walls are gonna be a 20 year material. So as far as maintenance on this structure goes, we really only have to replace the skins on the greenhouse approximately every four years, maybe a little sooner based on wear and tear. Following inside, we've got our man door here, 48 inch wide man door with threshold. So thresholds low profile, so you can still get wheelbarrows in and out. That's secured down. We poured a nice little foundation pad. We did a little bit of custom trim work to get this thing all flashed in. And then moving forward here onto this transition from the wet wall to the ducting, we actually have our light traps in here and these are known as brownout traps. So brownout can, traps are only used in conjunction with evaporative cooling systems because they're designed to let more airflow through and they block a little bit less light than a traditional blackout trap. So we've got that installed, whole walls going there and then we've got four, I'm sorry, three 60 inch shutters, our intake power shutters from J&D Manufacturing. We got them propped open right now. So when this greenhouse functions, we got our exhaust fan far on the other side. When it calls for cooling, these shutters pop open and they pull that cool air from the evaporative pad system right through the structure. Inside here, you can see we have our light deprivation system that's on the top of the greenhouse. That's our, our curtain system that rolls up and down to control your light cycle. And we've got all of our internal truss members running down the length of the structure, which is obviously holding lighting, fans, electrical. You can hang heaters off there if you need to put a heater in here, dehumidifiers, anything you need. So we always recommend adding this when you do any of our internal light that builds. Really makes it a lot smoother for the rest of your installation. Usually if you haven't put them in, you're going to by the end of it. Making our way down through this structure. All we have on our back end is our traditional light trap system. That is ducted out to our exhaust fan, which we'll walk around the structure and we'll show you guys on the outside. We've got our storm fiberglass exhaust fan, which is currently running, which is why it's noisy. So we'll get right outside, we'll walk around the outside of the structure, show you the skins that we put on this, the whole nine yards, and we'll show you the exhaust fan. So the whole outside of this building is sheathed with our nine mil woven. So this is a woven membrane. It's got anti-condensate, which doesn't have as much application for an internal system since we have the two layers. So all of that condensation would be forming on the inside of the structure if there was any to form. Because of this dual layer system that we do, there's actually insulation in between the two frames and it reduces condensation tremendously in between the two systems which is why we always promote doing it this way and doing the two layers of plastic. So, it'll be a little loud, but this is the exhaust. Let me get out of there. So on these structures, because of our, our motor system, which you can't really see in between the two structures, but we can only put one exhaust fan on these buildings. So we put these, these massive exhaust fans on the back and. This bad boy does about 35,000 cubic feet per minute. So we got a singular exhaust fan on the back. We showed you the light trap on the inside, but this fan is actually ducted to the inside frame. So it's really pulling air from that inside frame, pulling it through the light trap and exhausting everything out, drawing that cold air from the evap wall right through the whole building. This thing's fantastic. It's heavy, but it gets the job done.
If you guys think one of these greenhouses will be right for you and your farm, you can give us a shout at Hortatech at 541-480-9392, or you can find us at hortatechdirect.com. Call one of our guys at the shop, talk to Jerry or talk to Dave. We'll get you outfitted, we'll figure out what you actually need, what fits your needs, what makes sense for your farm, and we'll get you quoted today.